That's my cue. This is an OS gesture comparison between the Samsung S21, the iPhone 12 mini, and the Nokia N9. We're going to talk a lot about this guy, of course, because this is the odd one out in nowadays in 2021. Let's first to talk about the release dates. This is released in, in January 2021. And this was released in October 2020. And this was released in September 2011. So you may think this is a really, really uneven uh, competition, but um, let's have a look. Okay, first let's have a look on the Samsung S21 gestures. Um, Gesture incorporation was incorporated as I can't research well about like some second edition of the Android 8 version, but at least uh, on Android 9 it came and it's been available on Android 10 as well. What gesture control means is of course you just have all these kind of gestures on the screen. You can do swipe down, swipe down twice to get access to the control center. Swipe right and left, of course you can do that on all phones, but then there's of course is this, if you swipe up from the button slowly, you get all these uh, latest apps you've been into and you can navigate around them easily. And this is exactly the same actually, as I'm going to show you right quick, on the iPhone. So you have, of course, you can swipe right and left and stuff, and you can swipe, by the way, on the iPhone you can swipe from the top right, you access the control center. If you swipe down in the middle, you get like the latest things you've been doing, series suggestions. If you swipe down from the top left, you get your notifications bar as well as like a flashlight and the camera quick access. Also, if you swipe slowly up from the button, you get access to all the latest apps you've been having open, right? So these are almost the same. And now you think to yourself, that cannot possibly have been the case back in 2008. <laughs> 11, but okay, let's just examine this. You might remember back in 2011, all phones had like at least one button. The iPhone had that one. Uh, and the Samsung, yeah, what the, all the Androids has like at least three buttons, okay? So this is the Nokia N9. It was released with this uh, operating system called Miko, and it was abandoned uh, <laughs> at the very same time when it was released in September tw uh, 2011. So... Double tap to wake the screen, uh, swipe up to access your, um, your widgets, and you can swipe left to like if you have any messages. And then we get back to this one right quickly. Okay. So if you double tap on the top, you can e get easy access to mute and the beeps, and you can adjust the, the sound of your voice. The, this is your call. Okay, and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open a couple of apps so we can see how the apps tray work. By the way, let's just play this quick so you can see. Okay. Of course, it comes with Angry Birds as it's being from Nokia, so that's a no-brainer. It had to be like that, right? Let's see if we can just... Well, anyhow, now I'm finished off by playing this game and then I just can swipe from like any direction to end the game, okay? So that's also kind of like you have it nowadays. But remember, this was back in, 20, in 2011, okay. And I'll just open Twitter real quick. Don't want to have nothing of it. Some notes. Don't want to have nothing of it. And let's go into, what is this? The gallery. Let's check out our gallery. There's just some shots. Nothing of it. Shut it down. Well, let's see Skype. Of course, this probably doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work right now because it was it. Okay, so now I've had all these kind of apps opened, and so what? The, I cannot swipe up from the button on this. This will get me nowhere, like in the comparison with today's operations. But what I do is I swipe over to the left, and then you have this pane with all your latest programs. Okay. Please remember that you had no buttons at that at that time, but you can easily like open the gallery, and there it is. Swipe away, so it's gone again. Hey, by the way, that's, that's like this sort of semi-swiping up from the button. You can actually access some of the most recent uh, or most wanted apps you would like to use, right? So, 
again I'm into something in my like this uh, apps drawer and then I swipe away and then it's gone and please do remember <laughs> this was 2011 I remember standing with this phone down uh, in the El Giganten that's a giant uh, uh, kitchen appliances and electronic store here in the Nordic, Nordic countries and I was just totally blown away by this. Another thing, this comes with 64 gigabytes of internal storage, 64, what does that come with? Yeah, my particular one, 256, but um, the basic model of this is also 64 internal storage, 64 internal storage, 2011. This is just an amazing phone. It came with one gigabyte of RAM and it came with a single core Cortex uh, CPU. Let me just get that right. Yeah, a 1.0 gigahertz Cortex A8 CPU. So of course, uh, it, it didn't. Uh, it, it, it is not much by compared to today's standards. But then again, you got to remember at that time, all the apps didn't uh, need as much power as this one. Of course, um, was. Um, it tends to do also it has a camera the camera is by the way pretty cute uh, it takes eight megapixel and you can see up here it's um sorry it's set to seven megapixel but you can change the settings you can even go to macro you also have these settings today uh, white balance uh, exponering what's that called in english you can set a timer you can set ESO levels <clears throat> you can set the picture frame and you can choose between different uh loosening all right the facial recognition so it has like all the the um settings of a modern day camera actually so this is pretty cute just when you go into that let me just see if i can exit this and go back to the camera uh, i couldn't perhaps or what let me just see this Yeah, you can also move the focus as you can tell there and you can choose a lot of other things you can also go into camera mode and you can start recording these two newbies so this is the only recording let's just play that and hear it Yeah, so you can tell the loudspeaker isn't too loud, that's for sure. But still, <laughs> all this phone, uh, it was expensive at the time, I must say. But when, when I compared it down in the store with the, um, just one moment, let me just get into the brightness settings here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when I compared it down in the store, okay. So it isn't all it isn't all too bright it will be all out bright but nowadays phones <laughs> but when i tried this out on the phone i just remember it was mind blowing mind bottling at the time please also take a notice of how fluid this is i'm recording this right now this camera with a 60 frames a second full hd so that's pretty decent uh, should be able to pick up the kind of fluidity of of the process when i maneuver in this system just take a look at how it was executed it was just honestly this was brilliant it was such a gigantic mistake <laughs> i really mean gigantic mistake but on microsoft's part not to go on with this miko miko operating system because as you can tell here it would have been mind-blowing mm, let's see let's try and go into the camera see which one loads the camera the fastest it should be the new phone yeah that was an easy win for the new phone Let's just swipe out of that. Let's try another one. <laughs> but you gotta remember this only had one gigabyte of storage. Okay, let's go into gallery. Let's see what which one loads the fastest of these. Also, the Samsung S21. And now that isn't a big surprise now, is it? Oh, let's see if these two compare for some reason. This is chest and this angry birds. Well, I think it was a small victory from <clears throat> the um, nokia n9 but also it was because the game of course already had loaded i loaded this up from the start yeah well 
Please uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want me to explore on this phone. I have it in my possession, so I can, um, yeah, I can play whatever I want and test whatever I want to test on this phone. This is a selfie cam, by the way, but only works on, uh, you know, like Wi-Fi calls and stuff. So I can't really test it for that. Okay, just gonna play this. Whoa, this is pretty cool actually. What am I gonna hit some planets or what's the deal on this? No, not the planets, there's someone behind me, that's for sure. Whoa! There they were, them bastards. Oh yeah, but I had enough of this game. Okay, so you have to pause it first and then you can swipe from the sides to exit this game. Well, I think I talked enough about this Mego phone. Uh, please let me know if there's anything you want me to know about this. It had a jack stick and it had in here, it had these, um, well, it has a micro USB B type and here it had the yeah, and then it has the USB. You can get it up. You can see it's the old style. It's not the nano SIM. It's more like a regular SIM. Yeah, what more? Well, we got uh, what, power on, off, and volume up, down. Super built into the design. Not easy to access, actually, this button, but then you don't press it by accident. And at the bottom, you just got one single shooting loudspeaker, and the left side, you got nothing. This was. The epitome of an elegant phone back in the day. Of course, now you have this as a contrast with the my uh, the iPhone 12 Mini. So that was the quick comparison of a phone that really should have been. It would have saved Nokia, no doubt about it. But then again, it was ahead of its time, as you can tell. And people were perhaps weren't uh, ready to go. Uh, leave all the buttons out from the front and stuff with no button action. Yeah. So let's shut this down. This is just done by holding in the power button. Whip, and then it shuts off. That's pretty nice. So you don't have to go through all those goddamn questions. Do you really want to shut the phone down? Yeah, I really want to shut the phone down. Now it's off. And that was the OS gesture comparison video of these three operating systems. TikTok, Sanchez.